This picture here eh, is, 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 this kiss na congee kiss. You know when you meet this in July, when I come marry April, you know how many months, naughty, this place could be like, about our project. <laughs> How I met Ikechuku is a typical example of miracle. No, they tired Jesus. So, like, it's just a reminder that God is still in the business of doing miracles. Like, he honors the word of his children. I met Ikechuku 2012, July 1st. And that was after I told God. I think that was in May. Yes, May 10th, 2012. I was still in school because I graduated in June. So in May, I wrote a lot of things down. I said, I'm going to meet my husband July 1st. Right? Yes, I said meeting him July 1st. Engagement, 29th October. Uh, wedding date. April 23rd, first baby, December 23rd, 2013, you know, and everything came to pass. Everything came to pass. I remember before I wrote everything down, there was a break where I go through. Because I guess I can't even go out to me for this life there. <laughs> you just say, it is God. It's God I want to serve now. I don't want to do bad thing again. I don't want to follow any boy. I just want to serve God. Whenever I'm ready to get married, let my husband come. You know, and I was praying about it. I really had faith that I was going to meet my husband July 1st. I graduated in June, came back to Abuja. And I was, there was one Saturday. So the first Saturday when I got back to Abuja, I was looking for home sale. Because when I did for school, my family packed from Games Village, go into industrial area. So as I graduate, come back, I don't see anybody way get home sale around me. Now so I call the worker for Rodo, enter by come outside for me do, reach that express, way lead to Galadima and Airport Junction. I see one estate, so they call King Scott Estate. Now so I enter the estate too. Before I enter the estate, I see one woman. Drive come as she get winner sticker for her back. I asked the woman, I said, I beg. Is there any home sale in this estate? It's Saturday and it's almost five o'clock. I want to attend home sale. And she goes, the home sale in this area is on Sundays. I say, okay. So I took a contact saying after church tomorrow, I'll attend home sale. You know, I took a contact and I left. I went back home. I got back home. The next day was Sunday. I was supposed to go to do Rumi winners, but it's very far from you do industrial area. So I asked my mom, which winners near here? She said, eh, eh, there's one Jai. I said, okay. I enter by reach Joshua, take taxi. Then the man said, why did they go Jai when maybe Faith Church winners day near here? It's closer to you. I said, okay, take me there. He took me there. I entered the church. I did first service, second service. Was it third service that time? It was just first and second service. First, second service. After second service, I stayed back in the church to do cleaning and everything. After cleaning, I waited. You know, I was now revising what they preached in church, praying. When it was like 4.30, I said, okay, it's time to go for home sale. So I got to the King Scott Estate. Okay, no. I was on my way to the King Scott Estate. I they called the phone number of the woman. Called the phone number of that woman where I meet on Saturday. You know, they go. The number switched off. Now I say I won't do now. I say, but me, I must go and say. Now I could use. I, I just feel like it was the Holy Spirit that was helping me that day. Because I just entered inside the estate. I tell the driver, I said, take your left. Take your left. Take another left. Go straight. So I just reached one house. I just see winner's uh, banner. And I say, stop me here. Now I enter. As I enter inside, 
it was Mrs. Kenny. She was there with her, th th her three sons doing home sale, doing a assignment. She said, you're a new member. I said, yes. She said, okay, we've not started yet. So I sat down, was waiting till five o'clock. Different people started coming, you know, and then somebody walked in. <laughs> He walking with his shoe and his trousers and all die that shit. I said, look, I said, hi, good evening. I said, good evening. He said, you're in church today? I said, yes. I said, okay. The person was in church. <laughs> so after the home sale, he said, look at his scott and go drop uh, home sale outlines, you know, for different home sales. From last night, they charge of the home sale outlines for the estate. They get like three to four home sales for that King Scott. So as we call it go, it go carry me go one, one particular street right near the gates. There be twins, two guys, there be twins where they do themselves for their house. And I say, but this place, they near, they very near the gate. She now you have to just enter. Why could they go left like that? And I say, sure. Now, wow, maybe God know why he's saying at this homestead, I go go. After that, they can school call my number. My house, they very far from inside the industrial area. I never even enter by Krish. Because if you enter by this one hour inside that my area, you can't call me back to back. I say hello, it says your home cell leader. I want to find out if you are home. I said, I never reach out. So my man, I said, why this one they disturb me? Which one you just see me today? They check on me, they do love me. So home cell leader, they call people, you know. So fast forward to when we got that date. <laughs> we got a date after like two months or so. I think. Ikechuku, you not really asked me how to. There was one day I went for evening service. Ikechuku called me, say, are you in church? I say, yes. He said, I can't make it today because of work, but um, I want you to pray for me. I have a prayer point for you. I said, what prayer point? He said, I want to get married. <laughs> I said, I don't understand. They want marry, okay, now I don't hear. <laughs> He cannot really trust me serious to so. so we just do, we just do our normal bro Christian brother and Christian sister. We meet for church, meet on Sunday, Wednesdays, you know, home sale and everything. So one day I just do my normal prayer for us. Now I say, we make a check this book. I write some things what they pray about. But I don't come to pass. As I check July 1st, don't pass. Now I say, wait to. Did I first don't pass three months ago? Did I really meet my husband? As I track and go back on that Sunday, like can't keep my meet. <laughs> I have to click on my best friend Rebecca. I say, Rebecca, oh, bless you, I can't keep with the person. He said, Naim. I said, boy, not to get to. That's how you know that God, eh, sometimes when God gives you something, it might not look like it. Ah! I said, boy, not to get eh. You don't get money, you don't get car, they work for bank as contract staff. Rebecca said, that is the man. As far as you met him, that's the only man you met July 1st. So it's your husband. You know? So we started dating and everything. October, the date when I write for my birthday, Kechiko engaged me. Then uh, we did introduction in January and we got married March 23rd for traditional wedding. And then a month after, we did our white wedding. That was nine months after we met July 1st. And it was just a shock. Like, I don't feel believe, say, everything when I write for that book came to pass. It was so seamless. Like, I remember I used to pray and tell God, God, I want to meet a man July 1st, and I want him to be the man for me. I want him to be spiritual. I want him to love you. I want him to just be the best. I want him to be my soulmate. And came to pass. And there's another thing again. When I was praying to God that time when I was writing that thing in my book, I was like, God, I want to be celibate. I want to abstain from sex. And I need a man that when I meet him, he will also tell me the same thing. And that was exactly what happened. And the we were celibate until our wedding night. And we were, we were so true to each other. And... Yes, that's how I met Ikechuku, and today we are married 10 years after. <laughs> and that is how I met Ikechuku. Over to you. <laughs> oh, well, 
my own version is is what I would call divine orchestration. Mm. Yeah. Amen. Glory. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I I met my wife in church. I remember Bishop Abio always say, when you are praying, open one eye and close one eye so that your miracle will not pass you. That's exactly what I did. I was in um, CCU, Otter Guard, you know. So when they called the first timers to come out, and um, as she was coming out, the Holy Spirit just spoke to me and that that is your wife. Okay? I say, <laughs> I say, good, you know. Um, then I was not just planning to get married, but you know, when the Spirit has spoken, it must surely come to pass. Then I replied within my spirit, I said, if she is really my wife, let us meet the same day. Let something connect us that same day, you know. You know, we are home cell leaders. We don't those women. <laughs> <laughs> you know. So I finished my work in church. I walked inside the church. I saw her clean. I said, should I go? Out? I said, something must connect us. I was not. I said, there's no need of me going to be good last week. With your suit. <laughs> <laughs> you know. So um I left church. I didn't see her again. And uh it was time for home cell. I walked majestically to my um, home cell place. Lo and behold, the first person I saw was her. Ah <laughs> I say it don't happen. <laughs> <laughs> you know? So I spoke to her, I said, ah, I saw you in church today. Yeah. I said, yes. I said, you're welcome. <laughs> you know? So that's how, you know, I same day became my personal assistant. You know, home said personal assistant. Because he was following me to go and collect reports. You know. And he was obedient. He was following me. Hello, <laughs> From one who said, I call a report to submit to the uh, person in charge, you know, in charge of the collection. You know, not INEC collection. <laughs> this one is living faith. Legit one. Who said, legit collection. <laughs> that is how we met, and um, everything worked out. It was like, it's divine arrangement anyway. Um, that's why I'm not surprised that things are working out like this today. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so that's how we met. <laughs>